Hello and welcome to a new high cut short clip. In this video I will show you several new features for the detailing of drawings in high cut 2024. We have further extended the possibility of placing form and positional tolerances. For example, reference text can now be set on the tolerance indicator. New symbols for text have also been added. The position of the additional text changes automatically when the position of the tag is changed. Form and positional tolerances can also be placed on projection lines of dimensions and are automatically moved when the dimension is moved. In addition, a form and positional tolerance can switch sides if it has been placed on a dimension line. A major highlight of HiCA 2024 is the revised dialog of the sectional view function. This offers modes for the simple and quick creation of sectional views, which in most cases no longer requires an own sketch. After applying the section, the next sectional view can be created directly. In addition, you can select the original view again to create several sectional views quickly one after the other. You can also reverse the viewing direction in the creation dialog. In the past, this function could only be carried out subsequently in the editing dialog. In the boundary sketch you now have the option of setting parametric dimensions. It does not make sense to refer to the sectional geometry. This concerns especially the edges and points that have only been created by the sectional view. Identifiers and caption can now be activated independently of each other. When detailing a drawing, many views can be created. This makes it difficult to select the correct view in the ICM. Therefore, views can now be collected by pressing the control key. This makes it much easier to move multiple views. A right click on the view frame opens the context menu of the view list. Since we are already on the subject of views, I would like to show the next highlight right away. In order to better align the views, a magnetism has been developed. The old grid for moving the views has been removed. If the geometries of the views are aligned at certain points, dashed lines are displayed. If the distances between the views are the same, arrows are displayed. The numbering makes it easy to see which arrow belong together. Use the screen detail to define which views are included in the selection for the distances. Drawing frame and title block are also taken into account for the distances. Holding down the shift key moves the views horizontally or vertically. Holding down the alt key switches off the magnetism. This means that auxiliary lines and a grid that does not fit are a thing of the past. Last but not least, the shortening of a view can be temporarily deactivated. This allows you to make visible again dimensions or annotations that are hidden in the shortening. This means that the shortening does not have to be made once again. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.